Alright, so I finally beat Village of Shadows on a new game run, no infinite ammo, no new game plus, just a fresh new game, and let me tell you, I'm kind of mixed about it, you know, like, I was kind of assuming from what I'd seen online, people talking about it, if you do it on new game, it's quite difficult, and yes, there are difficult parts, and then we'll go into that um, in a moment, but for the most part, a lot of the game is basically the same, and you can skip about 70% of it. So the footage you're going to see, uh, it's a long video, I know, but the footage you're going to see is pretty much all the boss fights and for the first couple of minutes I do want to talk about what kind of I struggled with the most and things that happened on my run and then I'll leave the rest of the footage to play out and you can see the boss fights take place in this run. So yeah, before then I do want to talk about a couple of things, my advice, some tips and stuff like that and then when I'm finished rambling we can let the footage play out and you can pick whichever boss you want to see be done in the run. So first and foremost, because it is a new game, take your time, explore what you can, gather as many treasures as you can, you need the money. Um, one thing I will tell you straight out of the gate, the Village of Shadows, is you get a lot more money off of kills. That being said, do not focus kills. Any kills you do happen to get, pick up what you get, because it will help. But don't waste ammo trying to kill things in this run. Um, everything is very tanky and pretty much two shots you. Um, so you've got to either choose to fight or ignore it when you can. Obviously the money is essential because throughout the game you'll be getting new weapons and you'll have to upgrade them because you pretty much have access to a very limited amount of weapons if you're doing it on this run as a new game because of how expensive things are. Um, I ended up with the M1911, the TAC shotgun, the sniper and the Wolfsbane Magnum as well as the grenade launcher and they were about halfway upgraded at the end of the run. On top of the, um, you know, buying and upgrading weapons, also try and buy a couple of recipes every now and again, mainly for ammo and bombs and mines. Again, very useful for the run. They can pretty much allow you to bypass a lot of enemies that get in the way by just stunning them out. And it does help a lot through getting uh, around certain parts. And the mines come into play very, very well with a certain boss fight, which I'll speak about in a moment. So straight out of the gate, I do want to say that one thing did happen in my run that was kind of weird, and you'll see it in the footage in a moment, but with the opening village survival section, um, it bugged out for me completely. Like, I got through the first bit, into the secondary house, barricaded the door, and nothing came in the entire time. It was completely empty the entire time, it just timed out, and then I didn't have to shoot a shot, really, so it kind of worked in my favour. Obviously it was a bug, but um, I'll take it anyway, so... For that first part, again, what I would recommend is only fight when you need to. There are plenty of things around to kind of stun enemies out and stuff like that. Um, obviously use the barricades for, you know, temporary cover. But other than that, you know, run a loop and try and use the flower bags as often as possible. Again, only kill when absolutely necessary. Um, but you should be fine. It's about a four minute wait. So just keep looping, keep a solid loop up and you should be fine. So let's get into the meat of it. Let's talk about the bosses and the areas and stuff like that. So I've left certain things out of the run, okay? So the Donna section is not in the video because it's exactly the same. The uh, wind turbine boss from the factory is not in the video because it's exactly the same. And a lot of preamble between the territories is gone too because most of the time it's just me running around in circles, um, finding treasures and stuff like that to make money. So I've, I've skipped out a lot of the stuff. It's only really just the boss fights in this video. If anyone wants to see more of what happens, do let me know, but for now, um, it should give me the boss fights after the first initial village survival part. Overall, the boss fights aren't too bad. There's a couple of standouts that I will kind of go over now. So the ones I think I've struggled with the most are the first daughter, because not only is the room so small anyway, but there's like three extra enemies in there as well. It's very tight, um, and it was a pain in the ass. It took me a couple of times. The other two daughters, um, I did first time both times. They're really, really easy, um, especially the second one. I almost died because of my own stupid fault, and you'll see why. But um, other than that, the final two doors are fairly easy. Dimitrescu herself, um, not too bad, very tanky, very annoying at times, and there is an element of RNG in the fight. Um, one thing I learned while doing this run though, is when she does her bug attack, there is two towers on the arena you can stand in, and they'll ignore you. Um, obviously after you've done it twice, they destroy the towers and you can't do it again, so the RNG comes into place so where, at times, after those two towers were gone, she would do the attack again, and there's nowhere to hide, and those bugs will straight up kill you. So. Kind of annoying, but got it done. I ended up killing her with a knife. Um, she was very tanky, took a lot of my ammo. And I think as well, because it's such an early boss fight, you don't have much anyway. So it was pretty much to the wire, but you'll, you'll see it happen um, later on in the footage. Next up from that is Moreau. Moreau is an absolute pain in the ass. Um, not only is the boss fight so stupid anyway, but he's very, very tanky. Limited time to shoot his weak spot. Um, I tried it the proper way. 
about eight or nine times, but I'd always die pretty much when I could feel he was gonna die because his acid would hit me through the fucking wall every time. And pretty much if you get caught in it, you're dead. Um, so it pretty much fucks you up. Um, it's very annoying. So in the end, I did the cheese method. Um, if you do know what that is, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what it is, then you'll see it in the footage as well. It makes the boss fight a complete joke. And again, those mines come into play very, very well um, in that fight. So be sure to stack up on mines before you get into that arena. Following Moreau, we have Urias in the Stronghold fight. Not a bad fight. It took me about three or four attempts. Mainly the thing that killed me was uh, getting stunlocked by the Lycans that spawned in about halfway through and him. But other than that, as long as they're dead pretty quickly when they're spawning, it's not a bad fight. Not too tanky. Uh, Sniper and Magnum pretty much cleaned him up. Uh, fairly quickly um, so again it's just more the arena is quite tight and if those enemies are in there while you're fighting him it can make it more annoying so just kind of, kind of try and deal with them uh, as best you can obviously following that it's the turbine head guy from the factory and honestly again I left the footage out because pretty much the goddamn same fight again um, just lasts longer all you have to do is move out the way when he runs at you and shoot him in the back and then bait his fire move I shoot him in the back and he dies. It's literally the same fight, just a little bit longer because it has more HP. Um, and there's no real difference to the arena. There's no enemies in there, just you and him. So it's pretty much the same thing. Heisenberg, first time, no problem. I really don't see why people online say he's very hard in Village of Shadows. He's really not. You can pretty much get through the fight without getting hit. I got hit probably once, I think, and I was guarding as well, so I didn't really do much. Um, I don't think he's a very hard fight at all. Uh, you can stun lock him in a second phase pretty easy with a sniper and a magnum, so he didn't really do anything. Um, so I don't really get why people think he's hard, but I did it no problem. And then finally Miranda. Miranda was a pain in the ass. She pretty much one-shots you with everything. Um, the most annoying phase she has is when she turns into the spider and jumps at you. That is a absolute pain in the ass. Other than that, it's not too bad to avoid her. Again, she's very tanky. I changed strategy like four times in the entire time I was trying to do it. Pretty sure she took me the longest out of all the bosses in the game. Um, she's just really frustrating to deal with. Um, and I swear there's a bug where she just randomly picks between which phase she wants to be in every two seconds. Because I was playing one run of it. And she switched from like her normal stance to a flying stance to a spoiler stance and back again. About five times in like 30 seconds. And it was kind of annoying um, to deal with. But eventually, god dead. No problem. Um, but yeah, it, all the boss fights I would say... A lot of the boss fights, to be honest, in Village of Shadows are kind of like more stamina fights than anything else. Like, as long as you've got the bullets and the patience and the focus to do it, you'll probably do it no problem. Um, in terms of their attacks and stuff like that, they're relatively the same. They just do more damage to you. So it's just a case of knowing what they're going to do, how to avoid it, and keeping your shots on point as best you can. There's no real method other than that, unless you want to cheese Moreau or stuff like that. But the boss fights aren't too bad. To be honest, my overall thoughts of Loser Shadows, I think I've mentioned it before, is I like the mode, it's definitely a challenge on New Game Plus or not, but at the same time, it's a massive step down from uh, Madhouse. If you don't know what Madhouse is, it's the hardest difficulty in Resident Evil 7, um, but what's different about Madhouse is not only does it remix the enemies, so they spawn in different locations, and there's more of them, but it remixes the items as well. Um, item spawns for key items and weapons are pretty much different across the board for the most part of the game, and it makes a lot of the pursuer type moments with Jack a lot more tense because he's very fucking fast. And again, you're pretty much a one shot from him um, every time. Madhouse is just a better run, I would say, personally, to do. It's more enjoyable. Um, but Village of Shadows is a bit of a step down um, from that. But that's pretty much it. It took me about a week, maybe two, to get the whole thing done. I was obviously doing this between playing the Rose DLC and the New Winter stuff. Um, so it took me a while to get through because of that. You are noticing in the background probably at this point that the Village Survival section has broken and I'm just back and forthing between the window and the door with nothing happening. That's just what happened. I don't know why it did it, but it did. Um, but overall the run was fun. There was challenging moments, there was frustrating moments, but I still enjoyed it. It's just not as good as uh, Madhouse personally. But yeah, that's going to do it. I'll leave you guys with the footage for the rest of the bosses in the background now. Um, again, feel free to roast me. It's not an efficient run. The only thing I did that was kind of what everyone does is cheese Moreau. I kind of did things my own way. So if you think I could have done it better, do let me know. Um, but leave your thoughts on a Village of Shadows run down below. Have you done it before a new game? Have you not? Have, do you want to try it? Do let me know what you want to do. Um, but this is pretty much going to be my last big Village video. Um, pretty much all I'm doing now is... I've probably done the streams, by the time this video goes up, I've done the streams of the DLC, doing the challenge runs for that. 
um, and this is probably going to be our final video for Village um, as a whole. I do want to do one more, probably kind of wrapping up my overall thoughts of the game now that the DLC is out and I've played it to death. But this is pretty much going to be it. So it's been quite a ride. I've enjoyed Village. I've enjoyed playing it over the past two years. Um, but I've pretty much done everything there is to do now. So now I'm pretty much waiting for Callisto Protocol in December. And then January, you've got your Dead Space remake. And then February, there's a bit of a gap. But then in March, obviously Resident Evil 4 is out. Between now and then, I'll be bouncing between new games and older RE games. Doing some more content across those. Um, so yeah, thank you all for coming by. Hope you all enjoyed the Village content over the past probably year. Um, but yeah, thank you all for coming by. And I'll catch you in the next one. came to see me. Don't make me angry! You've 
done it.
not good. Hurt. 
my friends. <laughs> So this is the power of the love. That won't hurt, my friends. Come on! Thanks for waiting! Not bad! This is the best! There's an opening in the roof. 
After all, everyone dies.
Mr. Winters. I think it's time you left things in my hands. Rest. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter! fight Think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. I understand your feelings, Mr. Winters. True, I do. But this is the end. I will take back my daughter! How about this? I will see my hopes. I must. After all, Everyone dies. Sure, I never see. 